take your minnow and the back of the minnow is the straightest part. This is a rod you can also drop shot with. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Look at that, dude. Here, let me grab it. On that lemon lime. Hell yeah, bro. Just let him, just let him sit there. You're good. Now we don't hit the drop shot. Oh no. No. Whoa, it's slippery. <laughs> I'm gonna get real wet. That's okay. Don't have to force him. Here, give me a little, little slack. Give me a little slack. Pull some line up. There you go. Hell yeah, bro. Look at that, and that lemon lime. Almost, almost 10. 9.35. That was a very mild hookup, huh? Told you. It's like yeah. barely there. See? Junkie, bro. Oh yeah, yep, yep, just like that. Booyah kasha. Good. And that lemon lime, son. Yes, sir. All right, let's go get that lemon lime. Someone's becoming a slayer. <coughs> right on, bro. Just when you're talking and chatting, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a good one. Oh, that's a good size. Mm-hmm. Toad. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll net yeah, that one. Yeah, we got a big boy. I'll eat that one. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. take that one. Yeah. You don't like the sardines? I don't love my star but man, I'll take Toad, it. Toad, son. Yep, he's going. Mm -hmm. Just don't don't horse him, don't force him, just let him do his thing. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Take it easy. Yeah, just kind of put light pressure, try and turn his head. I don't think he's into any of the lines anyway. You got him. <laughs> so that would be my PB. Nice. Second trout ever? Yeah, right on, dude. Ago, no yeah. way. I didn't know that. You gotta bite the heart out. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Look at that, dude. Nice one, right in the mouth. Yeah, that one's on, uh, what's it called? Big stick. Hmm? Oh, no, I got it for you, bro. It's full service. Yeah, perfect hook right in the side of the mouth there. Holy red herring. All right, ladies and gents, going to take a quick break from the video to show you what's going on out there and what we're using. I'll start with the rods. First one to start with is uh, my trusty Katana K5. This is the rod I use for a uh, drop shot and uh, usually throwing spoons or any uh, hard baits. Uh, it's a seven foot six rod, it's ultralight. Uh, it's got a stiff backbone, but a very soft tip. So I call it kind of a uh, medium fast action. I have it uh, paired with a, a Daiwa Presso 1000 spinning reel. I have it spooled with uh, four pound Sinister Premium Fiber Braid. Uh, this braid is uh, black in color, comes in a variety of colors. And then I run that up to a uh, fluorocarbon leader. Uh, it's a five pound Runkel Power Fluoro. And I usually run a leader length of about five to six feet. And I attach it with a double uni nut. I have my standard bait and weight set up here. This is a uh, Daiwa Spinmatic eight foot spinning rod. It's an ultralight. Um, it's, it's more of a moderate action rod. It's, it's uh, got a very soft tip to it. 
but uh, this is a rod you can also drop shot with and it's a uh, very inexpensive compared to the Katana. The reel I have paired with it is a, a Daiwa Legalis 1000 and I have spooled on here a uh, five pound Bronco Power Fluoro just straight. There's no braid on this. I don't fish braid uh, typically with uh, bait and weight applications. I just use the, uh, the fluorocarbon or the mono. Like uh, years ago, I used to use a four pound uh, P-line uh, monofilament uh, and that works just great as well. All right, now let's go to the bench and I'll show you the baits that are working and the rigs and how I set them up. All right, guys, now we're going to take a look at uh, the rigs we're using out there and the baits that are, that are actually working. Uh, we'll start off with the drop shot rig. Um, this is a single drop shot, and I tied this up with uh, today with the green uh, braid instead of uh, the usual uh, five pound Runkle uh, power floor I use just because it's a little bit more visible on, uh, on camera. I do not use braid on my drop shot rigs or my bait and weight rigs. I use the, uh, the fluorocarbon, but uh, uh, just so it's, it's a little bit easier to see. Today, what's a little bit uh, different is we're using just a single drop shot rig. So I just got one number eight mosquito hook tied about six to eight inches above my weight. And another thing that's different from what I usually do is I'm using a one eighth ounce drop shot weight instead of a 16th or a 32nd. Um, and the reason is, is because it's rainy and windy uh, and I want to get uh, more accurate casts. With the lighter drop shot weights, um, there's a lot more uh, deflection with the wind, as you guys know. It's a little bit harder to cast accurately or get it out far enough. Um, so we went with the heavier weight. And there's not a lot of snags in, in Parado, so uh, you can get away with this. Um, and like I said earlier, this is the, uh, the number 10, or I'm sorry, number 8 mosquito hook. And that's typically what I use. You can also use a size smaller, which is the 10, and a lot of guys like the 10. I just use the 8 uh, out of personal preference. It's, it's just, I feel I get a lot better hookups with it. When I'm using real, real tiny baits, sometimes I'll go down to a 10, but usually the 8 can even handle the smaller baits. The baits that are working the best up there on the drop shot, as uh, you, you were hearing, is uh, this Lemon Lime uh, Spartan Minnow. Uh, and Mike's cleaning house with this thing. Uh, uh, they really like the bright colors there in that murky water. Um, and this one, uh, uh, they really, really got a, got a knack for it. He, he was getting hit a lot and just missing hookups because he's, he's new to drop shotting, but uh, uh, they were all over this bait. And uh, the other one I was catching on was this uh, uh, mini Spartan Minnow uh, Big Stick. Uh, and that one usually works good at Prado. I, I knew that in advance. Uh, a lot of bright colors, usually uh, uh, this one, Colombian Bam Bam, which is bright white, or uh, pinks. They usually seem to like a lot of pinks. Uh, work really, really well there. Now I'll show you how you hook these on to the uh, uh, drop shot. So you take your hook and you take your minnow, and the back of the minnow is the straightest part, or on these Spartan minnows they have these little bumps, or I like to call them scoots. And you can see the bottom part of the minnow has got kind of a rounded part that I, I consider the belly. So what I would like to do is put it through the, the, the nose of the fish and have the hook come out the spine. So we start right here at the upper part of the nose and start pushing the hook in. And I work it till it's starting to go around the corner of the hook right there. And then I carefully, trying to keep it as straight as possible, push the point of that hook through the minnow's back and then slide the minnow all the way up to the eye of the hook. So it ends up looking like, like that. So it's very, very straight and it's right up against the eye. And, and uh, one of the main reasons I put it right up against the eye of the hook is because one, I feel it swims straighter. And two, if I feel anything and I get my, uh, my bait back looking like that, more than likely that was, that was a fish biting. As long as there's no weeds or debris on there, uh, pretty sure whatever I felt was a fish bite. So that's going to tell me how they're biting uh, and how it's going to feel on that day. Because each day it seems the trout bite a little bit differently. Sometimes they just hammer it. Sometimes they just nibble at it. So it's, it's really good to know, especially on the drop shot, because with this heavy weight, you're going to be feeling everything on the bottom, all the little uh, uh, changes in the mud or the sand that's down there. And sometimes that can feel like a light bite from a fish. So it's really good to do that. So if you, if you get your bait in, it looks like this. You know, hey, I think I'm getting bit. Now I know when to uh, start doing uh, some some uh, free hook sets, as you will, and uh, uh, see if you can hook up. And to hook up the uh, the Spartans, the mini Spartans, 
it's the same procedure just on a smaller scale and we're gonna even gonna use the same size hook uh, like I didn't uh, scale down my hooks to on, on this day sometimes I do I'll go to a 10 but you can see the the mini Spartan is just like the big Spartan it's just smaller so you got the back back here with the bumps on it belly up front so we start at the same part of the nose work it till it's just going around the bend and then push it through the back carefully and slide it up to the eye and there you have it just like that all right now we'll move on to the bait and weight and uh, you'll see this in a minute but this is your basic carolina rig so i got a quarter ounce egg sinker carolina keeper uh, but today normally i go with a, a 10 to 14 inch liter today i'm going with about a six inch liter because the water is especially murky it's raining so i'm figuring the fish are going to be right on the bottom that are willing to eat so i went with a very very short liter and then down to a number 10 uh, mosquito hook and uh, what I'm using is working the best is good old corn yellow power bait uh, just take a little ball of it and just enough to cover the tip of the hook basically so none of the none of the hook is showing so I'll show you right here just want a little bit so I make a little ball and I push the hook in the center and I just kind of squeeze you got to kind of squeeze all the air out of the bait so it's on there tight but obviously be careful not to stick yourself with the hooks you don't want to push too hard but I just form it into kind of a cylinder or a dumbbell looking thing almost like a buoy or a teardrop until it's covering just enough of the hook where you can't see the hook anymore and that's it and the biggest key when doing this is to test it in the water before you cast it just go over there and lay it in the water and make sure this is floating because sometimes you can cover your hook with power bait but the hook is too heavy and this thing's going to go right to the bottom so always 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 make sure your bait is floating before you cast out and the other thing that was working out there were spoons particularly rha spoons and the one that gets hot is this one right here this green dude Mr. Pickle. Mr. Pickle is a great uh, color that uh, Luke over at RHA makes and uh, uh, it tends to work everywhere. This thing will work in murky water or clear water. Uh, really, really good color. Uh, one of my favorites, in fact. Uh, and that's why I went with it first. And sure enough, you'll see uh, in a minute, uh, I hook up with this one. Uh, but it's a, it's a great, great color. Uh, obviously, he has a ton of uh, varieties of colors where you're four gram or you're three gram. It uh, doesn't matter what you throw, it kind of comes down to personal preference. I tend to lean more to the three gram spoons, but uh, the four grams catch plenty of fish as well. Uh, but uh, this goes back to uh, having uh, a lot of tools in your toolbox. Throw everything at them and see, uh, see what they really uh, end up favoring. Uh, turned out they favored the uh, drop shot more than anything, but we were able to get a couple on spoons, so that was really cool. Got him? Yep. yep. How long did that take? Like two minutes? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah? All right. Doubles. Oh, it's getting in that other rod. Oh, you got him over here? All right, cool. Nice. <laughs> like I'm jigged. <laughs> That's on a spoon, so. Oh, that's on a scooter. Yeah, pretty, pretty uh, decent fish. Nice. Whoop, whoop, watch your line. There you go, perfect. Good. 
Here, let me come over here. Let me get you in there. Sure. Well, we got in the bushes. That RHA spoon. Thank you, sir. Yeah. That's still small, huh? That's a nice, nice for here. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, good time over at Prado. Uh, uh, really love that lake, uh, even though uh, they aren't getting the quality fish they used to, but there are still some decent fish in there. As you saw, Mike caught a, a real chunky one, which was, was awesome. That was his PB. <laughs> and it, only a second trout ever, so that was really cool. Um, uh, but uh, uh, with that rain and, and the wind, uh, uh, it's, it's not the best conditions to fish in, but it is fishable. As you saw, we were catching fish. Um, so I always say get, get yourself a good pair of uh, rain gear, some waterproof boots, and get out there because uh, just because uh, uh, it's raining and you aren't comfortable doesn't mean the fish aren't. Um, they will bite in the rain. Uh, the jury's kind of out if they'll bite right before the rain starts. I've had a lot of incidents where I've gone out like right when the storm is coming and the fish just don't want anything to do with it. I don't know if it has to do with the... Uh, low pressure or uh, those kind of things that are caused by the coming rain. Uh, but once it starts raining, usually very, very good. And another benefit is a lot of people don't go out in it. So uh, uh, usually uh, you got plenty, plenty of space to fish and the fish are biting, which is, which is a good thing. And I think it's, it's uh, definitely worth a try. Uh, although when I got home, I mean, I, I literally had to hose myself off in the front, uh, front yard. Uh, my boots were caked in mud. <laughs> <laughs> and it was that real, uh, real sticky adobe kind of mud. So uh, uh, that was kind of interesting, but uh, definitely worth it because uh, we were able to get on some fish. So with that, if you want any of the uh, fine products I use on this channel, there's a QR code right up here. So if you want any of the Golden State Fishing Custom Baits, the Katana Rods, or the Waterland Sunglasses, uh, click on this QR code. It'll take you to a link tree with links to all those sites. If you go on uh, Golden State Fishing, uh, and purchase anything. If you type in code CSPANKER at checkout, you get 10% off. Uh, with the Waterland sunglasses, if you use the link that's provided in this uh, QR code uh, and you purchase anything, you automatically get 15% uh, off. You don't have to input a code, uh, but you have to use the link that I've provided. Um, and the Katana rods, uh, they are only available currently on Instagram. So go to either at uh, GSF Custom Baits or at Katana Rods 2022 and send them a message. The rods are going to be available very, very soon, if not by the time this video is out. Um, they are right around the corner. So uh, if you're interested in getting one, uh, make contact with them. Uh, and there, this time there's gonna be plenty for everybody. It's a huge, huge shipment. So uh, they are coming, I promise. I know I've been saying that a lot, but uh, uh, they are a coming. I, I, I'm hearing rumblings in the distance. <laughs> So if you like what you see here, uh, make sure to give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, really helps the channel out. And leave lots of comments. Any comments or questions you got, leave it right here on YouTube. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, I'm usually pretty good about it. Uh, just sometimes, you know, got uh, issues with the family and things I got to take care of in real life. Uh, but I will get back to you. So uh, uh, rest assured, I will answer your questions. But if you have any, I love answering them. I love talking fishing. So uh, uh, put it right here on YouTube. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And with that, I uh, hope to see you guys out there and uh, tight lines. Uh -huh.